Greetings, dear, beautiful, magnificent spirit soul that you are. Beyond definition, beyond words, beyond labels, at the very center, core of your being. It's great being with you today. Hey, we're here at Castle Lake. It was snowing. I had no idea. Yeah. No, you don't want to go ice skating. It's just basically a little, just a little bit of ice on the top. And so, so quiet and so great. My topic today, okay, this is very important. You know, many of you know, if you've been with me for years and years and read my books, what you think of me is none of my business, how to have more and have not world, the inner path from where you are to where you want to be, love and power in a world without limits, a woman's guide to the goddess within, to whatever else, ah, dare to be great and live your bliss and but da ba ba So anyway, um... You know, I was a prosperity teacher, and, I, and, and in fact, they used to call me uh, in the papers, I would be called uh, the high priestess of yuppie dumb. Well, you know, making it look stupid or bad or dumb, or, but no, there's always something really valuable in everything, and, and because everything has a plus and a minus in this reality, except you and, and, and who you are. So, being a prosperity teacher, and it started for me when I really started to get into metaphysics and to begin to really do spiritual work and do my spiritual sleuthing, looking for clues as to who I am and what I what I possess, what my powers are, what's possible, who you are, what you're, what's possible, you know, how things are operating, working, you know, all of this kind of a thing. And uh, prosperity, uh, really, for me, means to go forth with enthusiasm. And what happens with prosperity, we call it money, or we call it a gold toilet, means you're really rich, you know? It's, it's like you have all of this stuff that, to, to, to say, well, that's really prosperity. And so it then, in being the high priestess of Yapidam years ago, and all, always the prosperity ministry, and people were upwardly mobile, and all of this kind of thing, the, the good part of that, and you really look at that, is that we were really saying, hey, that's possible for me. And then we, but we were programmed for that whole reality of being a consumer. Only a, a, a consumer and a producer and a consumer of, of products, basically, uh, that kind of a thing. That meant the more stuff I had, the more prosperous I am. And if I have the right stuff and the good stuff and not the good stuff, and the, all of this kind of thing, which completely muddied the water. But it was essential for that step of wherever we were to begin to start to say, hey, what's going on here? And, and, and what's possible for me, okay? So, I'm announcing then the new prosperity renaissance adventure. And what it means is we all know the bad stuff's going on, a lot of us. And if you don't, you better start researching and finding out. No, but don't take it on. Know what it's, what's going on, you see. And knowing, um, and then as you, uh, your abilities of observation, our abilities of observation become stronger in witnessing and our, our knowledge of who we are and how life works and all of that, we are able to discern always uh, between truth and false. And with this knowing of all the bad stuff and all the stuff we're always talking about, oh, ain't that awful and that's terrible and that's bad, and we know you got to know what's going on. But the thing, the key here is, if you're always focusing on the evil, if you're always focusing on the, the uh, celebrity or the royalty or the uh, po politics, or you're always focusing on competition and all, all of this, this is just a program because we're divine beings with unlimited powers and abilities, actually, because who, of who we are and what we're part of. And what I really got in all of my work before as a prosperity minister, in, in the sense, was because it was realizing to me that I was studying metaphysics to understand that there is a spirit, a consciousness, 
behind the manifestations, you see. And then studying all of the different philosophies and religions and teachings and ancient manuscripts and all of this, the real prosperity comes down to recognizing and realizing who you really are. And the renaissance that we are now have started on and it's now unfolding before us because we're part of it is not been done before we're not dipping into the past to create the future and the future into the past the real renaissance is to recognize and realize who you are as a divine being and to activate all of your powers and abilities and and uh, uh, energies uh, for who you are within yourself and expressing that and demonstrating it that we bring forth and allow the divine to manifest and express through us as we own who we are and what we are instead of always being jerked around by other people's opinions other people's thoughts uh, the, the, what they're promoting through the media that's only owned by a few people. We all know all this stuff. Now what do you do? What's the solution? And it's not a mathematical solution, so we have to get away from that. But what it is, the new prosperity renaissance adventure, is that you develop your talents and your abilities, your hobbies, that what you're interested in, how to bring a, a garden, even if you're living in an apartment on, on your balcony, you know, it, whatever you need to wherever you are. And that recognizing real prosperity are in this world are renewable resources, trees and plants, uh, you know, pure water and clean air and all of these so we ourselves need to stop purchasing buying being a consumer of anything that has been contributing to the pollution the poisoning the wars the crimes all of these things because it's like once you know what's going on now you got to say, well, what's for me? Well, what, what am I about? Who am I? What's it? So the new prosperity renaissance adventure is a divine experiment. I've always been about the divine experiment. If I wonder what's possible for us. And by proving that in every aspect of my life, at every moment, at, you know, being right on the edge of passing over and what happened at that point and what went on and this and that and all of the things that I have experienced, it's like, wow, and others. And for us to be afraid and to live in guilt and shame and fear and hatred and uh, resentment and, and, and all of this, is a, 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 what it is, it's, it's self-emoliation. It's destroying one's own divine recognition and realization of who the person is and what you're about. And what happens is when we're sold out, we think prosperity is an abundance of five cents gratification. How much food can you eat? How much stuff can you drink? How much stuff can you smoke? How much music or sounds and yuck can you hear? What, how much can you see? How much, blah, 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 blah. Because it gets boring, boring. And what people hate is to be bored so they'd rather have a fight, you see. So it's, it's to really, really know that the real purpose for your being here in every way has not been in your best interest. And now it is. And now it's your turn. And it, everybody has a turn. It's for everyone to turn within. To actually realize and recognize and act from who they are. We take some of the great courageous people who are in the world right now, risking everything to tell truth 
to help us in health and, and in knowing who we are and freeing ourselves from all of these, these, these continuous ongoing rules and regulations that are not empowering animals and humans and all of us to be all that we are, because that's poverty. And it's an impoverished soul who does not know who they are. And when a soul knows and you know who you are, then you help others at the level that you can. You do it right where you live and right where you are. And this is what we need to do is to build the prosperity. That means it's a state of gratitude, always, always gratitude. And it's a state of appreciation. And it's appreciating people around you. It's giving to those who give to you. It's, 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 if you want to eat good food, know what needs to go into the soil and grow it yourself, even if it's in just a little box. You could get the most nutrition from that by packing that soil with good stuff. And when you pack your soil, your soul, yourself, your knowledge, your good stuff, you see, then you can bring forth whatever it is that you have to offer. Maybe it's making cookies. Maybe it's, you know, babysitting. Maybe it's you're a great house cleaner or maybe whatever it is. And you use natural ingredients and you get the job done, you see. And when we do that, every job, when we come from who we are, see, our natural ability is to give. And what pro the thing here, the real key, real key of the divine happiness, the joy, the pleasure of the soul, that everybody's been seeking from all of this other stuff that the world is saying they're happy, they're wonderful. They're not. They're not because they live in fear. They believe the mind. They live in the thoughts. They live in the program. They're living inside their own story when you want to be outside and you can view the story, you see, but you know who the story teller is. Got it? So I want you to take a look at um, your own acknowledgement that is perfectly right for you to prosper. It's perfectly right for you to take care of yourself. It's perfectly right. And then with others, it isn't just about me, it's about you. And it isn't just about you, it's about me and everybody else, you see. That's what it's about. It isn't about, we're just going to do all this for ourselves. No, you have to take care of yourself and your own. Absolutely. But not at the expense of someone else. And when we all do that, and that's where we're going now, and that's who we are now, we know what's going on now. All right, and if you don't find out, and now let's activate yourself and know that in every moment, wherever you are and what's ever happening, you are with the divine and you are in divine pleasure of the soul and you go forth with enthusiasm to offer your gifts and your services and your products and, and, and that kind of service and support at your very best because you do it in order to empower and enrich and nourish the object of your affection. You see that? And when our affection is love, love of the divine is supreme pleasure for the soul. So, hey, the new prosperity, renaissance, adventure, experiment. Yes, dare to be completely living in gratitude and joy, even though you know all that's going on, but you now are building and producing and manifesting your own divine being in every moment of now. That's who you are.